So you're probably wondering what on earth is this girl doing with this wig and this Merkles and all this shenanigans. Well, you see here, the reason why, main reason why I've been really busy on updating my both my YouTube channel and my blog has pretty much been because of the photography class I'm taking. Yes, photography has been the death of me. Not the death of me, but I mean, like, it's been pushing me to my limits and whatnot. And so, um, this year project I'm doing right now is focuses on emulation, and I, um, decided to do um, a photographer named Cindy Sherman. She um, was very famous for her black and white um, pictures uh, known as the untitled, um, the film stills, untitled film, film stills rather. Um, and so um, while I decided that I was going to do this look today um, as one of the looks today, I decided, you know, why not record it? Even though it's crazy, it's funky, no one probably wants to wear, um, ever wants to wear it unless it's like, oh, you know, I don't know, a costume party or whatnot. But I don't know. Maybe someone wants to, you know, don this and look at this and get some entertainment factor out of it. So yeah, let me just show you the still of a picture. Um, sh the wig she's wearing, it, or if if it is a wig, it's she's it's straight hair, whatnot. But uh, eh, I mean like the hair, the eyes. I try to do the best I could, seeing that as a black and white picture. And you can't really tell what colors she used, but I, you know, I used my imagination and I also used, um, took some liberty to. Uh, to try to um, make my features, I guess, kind of look more like her. Like I think I, I did contour my nose on my lips. Um, I did line my lips like they used to back in, I guess, the 60s or whatnot. Um, this picture was taken in the 80s, but she's emulating um, basically 60s, 50s, and her and the whole entire shoot would have been a knot. Um, and you know, like a lot of rouge, a lot of blush, black eyes. Um, I wish I had thinner eyebrows, but at the same time. Um, for to emulate her, but at the same time, I like my eyebrows. But anyways, I did it really dark, and so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this look. Um, for it, it, its entertainment value, um, just leave a comment below and check out, you know, and you know, keep watching and seeing how it looks. Already, bye bye, darlings. Hey guys, um, welcome back. And so I am mixing the wonderful Long Home Taunt Miracle Foundation with, in Buff 6W with the MAC Pro Longwear um, Concealer in NW25. Now the Taunt Miracle is actually a little too light for me, whereas the um, MAC Pro Longwear is slightly dark for me, so they're actually a perfect match for my skin tone when mixed together and gives me a good, wonderful medium coverage. Blending it all in with my fingers here. Next, I am coming in with the Urban Decay eyeshadow in Blackout, which is in the Ur um, Naked 2 palette. I believe you can also get this as a single as well. If not, any matte eyeshadow would do just fine. Um, so yeah, I am just basically creating a rather vintage cat eye create um, with this eyeshadow. And I am using the e.l.f. Essential Eye Defining Brush to do so. This is one of my favorite brushes from e.l.f. It's a dollar. And basically this brush um, is able to both pack on color and yet blend out um, eyeshadow very well. So as you can see here, I'm just creating the cat eye on both of my eyes right now. Very efficiently, or trying to at least. While making faces, of course. Next, I am going in with a pencil brush from Ed's Essence of Beauty and with the same color, Blackout, and putting it on my lower lash line to both intensify and make the look a little, lot more dramatic. I am now going in with the Jordana 12 Hour Liquid Eyeliner in Black Point to both um, line my upper lash line as well as line my waterline later on, as you can see here. Um, I actually prefer the Rimmel Scandal Eyes eyeliner a lot more than this one, but that one was unfortunately in my travel makeup bag, so this one was the one I had on hand in my um, makeup space right there. Next, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Volumin Voluminous Carmid Black Mascara, and this is a very volumizing mascara. I had to use um, two, about two coats is good enough for me. I'm really happy with it. And I just, you know, put it on my lash line and my lower lash line as well. 
And then now I'm using the e.l.f. Studio Eyebrow Kit in medium to fill in my eyebrows. Here I actually um, slightly overfilled my eyebrows more than normal. I made it a lot more dramatic than normal because I felt that Cindy Sherman had a lot more dramatic eyebrows than um, what I normally would do. So I just, you know, made it a lot darker. Of course, your eyebrows don't have to be this dark at all. Using the kit, you can easily blend the color out, but I... The reason why I like this kit so much is because it's so versatile and you can build up the color really well and the staying power lasts all day. Like, for realsies, it lasts all day. Pretty much. And of course it's only $3, so that's even a bigger plus. Now I'm lining my lip with a MAC Lip Liner in Vino, and I'm just lining the um, the outside of my lip and the, I guess, the inner, the inside of my lip, you'll see it in a bit. Um, just making sure that my lips are very well defined, and to basically try to capture the style of like what I picture ladies back in the day, in the, you know, old olden age where we, I guess, had our lip line darker than our lip color. So now I'm lining the inside of my lips right now. And now I'm coming back with the Milani Color Statement Lipstick in Nude Cream to, you know, put on my lips. Now I am using the NARS Guy Bourdain One Night Stand Cheek Palette. It's a limited edition palette I got back in Christmas. I have a full review of that up on my blog. And I'm using the blush in Goo Goo using the Real, Technique, Real Techniques um, blush brush. Now I'm just applying as much as rouge as I can. Um, rouge has the, unfortunately since I am taking pictures, I have to put in more makeup than I probably normally would, but um, the color of the blush is very powerful and very dramatic, so and when it comes up on here, it'll be uber dramatic, much more than I would normally wear. But it looked wonderful in the pictures though, so that's all that matters in the end. Now I'm going back and just to um, line my lips, the outside of my lips again, just because I probably, I licked my lips accidentally halfway through applying blush, so I just wanted to refine my lips really quickly. Now I'm going back and highlighting my face using the highlighter in Devote in the palette, and I'm using the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush for it. I am going back with the eyeshadow in blackout again because I realized that my right eye didn't exactly match my left eye in regards to my cat eye. So I just, you know, was like, I'm gonna fix this like right now and before it irritates me even longer. So yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> Next, I am going in in the eyeshadow using the eyeshadow and tease to contour my nose. And boy, was this a fun task contouring my nose. I normally don't contour my nose, and but I have been finding that the eyeshadow and tease is actually a really good contour because it's um, more gray, so it's more of like a shadow, unlike my bronzers, which is more, I guess warm and because I don't have the tan using a gray base is a lot you know more efficient and much more shadow like than using a warm bronzer and now I am using the um, buffing brush from Real Techniques to buff it out oh and the brush I was using before was the um, con contour brush from uh, e.l.f. it was from the studio line yeah I'm buffing it out you know blending it out making sure it doesn't look too hella obvious at least and there we go, I sneeze. Whoopsie daisies. And then here again, I am back using tees again to just, you know, define my nose, making sure everything looks fine and dandy and contours to the way I want it to look. And there we have it. This is the makeup I had for Cindy Sherman. I hope you guys like this video. Um, please thumbs up and subscribe if you like. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you. And bye-bye. Here's some close-ups and whatnot. Me making funny faces, of course. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.